Okay, we are back with some more stone fruit hybrids. Uh, last time we did a video with um, the, the plumogranate, which was it was a type of plum cot, if I remember correctly. And so what we have today are these are pluots, They're fancy boys, which are um, I've got my reading right. They are later generations of more interspecific hybrids between plums and apricots. And just take a look at what that looks like. It's very unique. They're very pretty. Yeah. And the other one we have is another hybrid. This is something, it's a marketing term <laughs> from what I've been reading. These are black velvet apricots. They are also uh, a hybrid between a plum and an apricot. And I looked at pictures of the inside of these. They look, they're kind of plummy on the exterior, but they're very apricot-y on the interior. So we shall see so what we think will, of the tastes. Yeah, you know, this will be fun. We're having two fancy boys. Yeah, they are kind of fancy, actually. <laughs> Which one do you want to start with? You want to start with the pluot? Oh yeah. That looks like grapefruit on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the inside. If I get all juice all over me. <laughs> huh. That's quite good. <laughs> like a not sweet plum. It's like a toned down plum. Yeah. I like it. It's it's sweet, but it's not like oppressively sweet. Uh, it seems like this one's fairly ripe, so is it juicy? <laughs> yeah. The darker spots are sweeter. Oh yeah. And the lighter spots are um, mild. Mm -hmm. But still pretty. Yeah, this is delicious. Mm. Just trying to not get juice on the show. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is very much like a mild plum. Mm -hmm. And I'll include links to more information about these that I've been able to find and a link to the previous video we did about stone fruit hybrids because we talked more about them there. If you haven't been introduced to stone fruit hybrids and like how the genetics are combined in crazy ways because long story short your eyes will glaze over yeah <laughs> there's a lot of that. <laughs> almost too many i like how they have like texture yeah it's cute actually kind of reminds me of like an eyeball a little bit so next we're going to try the black velvet apricot. <laughs> uh, and from what I was reading, these are not a very widespread uh, cultivar. Because um, it's, a, it's a proprietary. <laughs> so they're only available for a very short time at the beginning of summer. So from what I was reading, they are supposedly sought after, a sought after variety. <laughs> oh wow. It looks so cute. Yeah. The outside looks more plummy. The 
inside is very paper cut ish. There you go, that one was easier. Oh yeah, the pit came right up. Sick. Yeah, this one is fairly mild as well. And they seem pretty ripe. So I think the thing is, just because of its hybrid nature, I think that's what is so interesting about it's fuzzy and it's all black velvet. So. <laughs> it's an apricot with a fancier dress and a different name. I know. <laughs> it's very easy to eat. It's very soft. It's an apricot with a little red dress going up right out of the town. Yeah. It's so cute. It didn't have a like a strong flavor in either direction. Yeah. But it was just there. Yeah. It seems but she looks like, cute. It seems like its genetics kind of fall more on the apricot side. But. You just have the dress. Yeah. Looks more like a plum. Very cute. <laughs> so that's a couple more stone fruit hybrids. And again, I'll include some information about these if you want to research more on your own. They are very interesting to find at the grocery stores when they're available. It's like, what the heck is that? I've never seen that before. <laughs> that wasn't here last week. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> like the, the last one we did was about something called a, a plumagranate. And I'm like, you made that up. That's <laughs> what... What is that? <laughs> First of all, you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, there's so many different names for the hybrids. Of, like she said, your eyes glaze over when you start to research it. Like, what? Yeah, once you get to the 20th hybrid, you're like, <laughs> and there's more. 